Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Stream. Today I'm going to take a look at five pianos that you can get for your iPad on iOS. So these, in my opinion, are the best ones, okay? There are loads and loads, but these are the best, I think, okay? But I'm not going to rate them in any particular order. You can make up your own mind as I play the pianos, and you may have a completely different opinion than mine, and that's cool. Anyway, so the first one we're going to take a look at is Genuine Sounds Volume 1 Piano Edition. Okay, so at the moment on the App Store, this will cost you 34 99 That's in UK pounds or dollars. And we're going to play through this first default patch. Now it does come with a load of instruments. Okay, so, but we're going to concentrate on the default patch because it's really nice. Turn the volume up a little bit. So the idea was to only use AUV3 instruments also. And only acoustic pianos sort of thing. So not like um, synth pianos and stuff like that. Just acoustic pianos. Okay, so that was Genuine Sounds Volume 1 Piano Edition. It's very, very, very good. You get loads and loads of control as well, different effects, etc., reverbs, all sorts of stuff. In fact, you can change out the effects by clicking on these here. So this is a really versatile app. Okay, so next on the list is Pure Piano from E-Instruments. Right, okay, so at the moment, this will cost you $29.99 on the app store okay so let's have a look at this this is a, another lovely instrument it's pointless me saying i like this because i like all of these pianos but these do offer kind of the best of acoustic pianos that you can get for ios so we'll close the mic and play the piano a bit and i'll play it around a little bit with the control surface
another very versatile, lovely sound and piano. Okay, so uh, the next one is Piano Tech 8 from Mod Art. Right, so this is a little bit different purchase wise okay so you actually get the instrument for free and you can sample all of the included instruments and there are loads and loads of them um i've got the actual steinway one the grand steinway d and also the um electric pianos one as well here so i'm going to stick with grand steinway d new york you also get um the grand steinway d hamburg but you there's loads of different instrument choices and pricing for this. I'm just going to have a look on the app store. Once you start to buy it, like I said, it's free and the actual demo stuff is actually really good, but to kind of get entrance in this, it's going to cost you at least 119 pounds. And then you get a choice of two instruments and then you can go up from there. What's great about this is the size it's 58 meg. It doesn't use samples where the other ones are like, like a gig, one or two well just over a gig this is 53 megabytes because it's all um physical modeling but it sounds amazing anyway so i'm going to play you through this one So when you buy a, an instrument from Piano Tech, you get kind of a choice of two instruments to buy. Like I said, I got the Steinway uh, D, but you also have different variations of these instruments. So if you click on here, you get all this stuff as well. Now it's all the same kind of physically model piano, but you get, I particularly like, like felt pianos, like felt one or felt two. So you click on this and to get that nice felt, sound beautiful so another another absolutely lovely piano okay moving on ravencroft 275 by uvi a piano that is much loved by many, many people. So, preset is classic. You get lots of different presets. Again, with all these instruments, you know, you have tons of choice. But I'm just going to play with the basic preset patch.
So there's the Ravencroft. So last but not least, because this list is in no particular order, it's just the, the pianos that I think are the best for iOS. Okay, so, and it is just an opinion, like I said. If you've liked this video, please strike the like, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. Next on the list is Korg Module Pro and the Ivory Grand IAP. So a quick look at the pricing for this one before we start. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say that Ravenscroft was uh, 34 99 by the way, on the App Store. £34.99. Okay, so Korg Module Pro at the moment is on sale, I think, and it's uh, $19.99. And then these an in-app purchase for the Ivory Mobile Grand is $14.99. So again, it's more or less the same price. But you do get tons more sounds and stuff with Module Pro, of course. Not just the piano, you get all sorts of stuff. And then you also get kind of lots of different versions of the Ivory Grand, the Jazz Grand. We're going to stick with the Ivory Grand piano, the kind of default one. OK, so here we go with this one. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the comparison between the pianos. I, I like them all. There's no, I don't have a particular favourite. Um, I think they all have a specific job to do. If you use music that uses, if you well, if you make music that uses pianos and stuff, they all sound very, very good. Like I said, there are loads of options in iOS for pianos. I mean, all the major doors have pianos in them. You know, Cubasis has a load of great pianos. So does Logic. It's up to you. <laughs> if you if you like pianos, I'm sure many of you own one or more of these pianos. But uh, I'm not recommending one over the other or anything like that. Anyway. There you go. Top job, cool beans. I'll see you later. Ta-da!